today's video. Um, this thrift store that I absolutely love. They shut it down, but they're about to reopen again in the ending of February. So I followed them on Facebook and they posted that today from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. they're going to have gay lords, which means like big, big, big boxes of books that they're giving away for free. So I was like, I want to go. It's raining, so I'm kind of like worried about the books and hoping, you know, that they're inside and will let us come in or um, they have tarps over them or something. But I'm excited. Uh, I have a few uh, big um, shopping bags with me. Um, let's see what I find. Hopefully some exciting stuff. He's not thrilled. <laughs> he hates taking me on my bookish adventures. Don't ya? Yep. <laughs> but it's free books. I wish they suspend my license. <laughs> so it's um it's like a 15 minute drive because it's uh in another it's in another county right next to me. But I'm excited. And I was like, oh my god, this will be the perfect video to come out of medical hiatus <laughs> from YouTube. But yeah, we'll see what I find. So I just got back from the free sale at the thrift store. Um, I'm going to show you everything I got. Um, it's going to be too much. No. It's going to be too much for me to explain what all the books are, the synopsis of them. Because there's too many. Um, I am going to first start off with the books I got for Ashley specifically um, I got her Nora Roberts daring to dream I got her Amy Tan's the bone setter's daughter um, I have the ebook version of this and I thought she would enjoy having it I know for a fact she doesn't have it I also got her chicken soup with a dog lover soul because she loves her mini um, I got her Lauren Conrad's LA Candy because since it's a like Valentine's themed swap, I saw the hearts and I was like perfect. I got her Wicked Jealous, a love story by Robin Palmer, and this is an arc, so she will appreciate it. And I also got her this funny um book that's a memoir, um, Running with Scissors. By Augustine. Oh my God! Why would they cover burls? So these are for Ashley. Set those aside. Then for the kids, I found powerful plants. The carrot napping. Um, it's cute and it's interactive. I think you can download um, the app and it lets you know info on plants especially since Brandon likes plants so and then g-force your inner pig because guinea pigs and squeakers because squirrels i keep getting phone calls i found a reader's digest book um that i want to repurpose into a junk journal it's really thick the pages are yellowed and there's photographs on it that i can also repurposed. I thought it was beautiful. Um, there was a few of these in there, but I only grabbed one. All right. Almost completed series um, that I wanted to 
I just wanted them, honestly, because I love Pretty Little Liars. Um, so I got four books, and it's Killer, Perfect, Wicked, and Unbelievable. So, and I think if Noveli reads them, she'll enjoy them, so that's the other reason why I got them. So I found a few books that um, was mentioned on Booktube. Um, Calling Invisible Woman by Jean Rain. Um, I heard good things about it. It looks like a short read. It's like 230 pages, 240 pages. Um, so I've seen this on Booktube. So when I saw it on the one of the Gaylords, I was like, yes, I have to get it. Wintering, uh, a novel of Sylvia Plath. By Kate Moses I love Sylvia Plath so when I saw this I was like yes and the cover is just beautiful Thomas Harris Hannibal Katie Reich's Break No Bones I don't know if this is like a sequel or whatever but I hope it's not but who knows Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but um, this was one of the books I saw on Booktube and it looked fascinating. So, yeah. When Katie Made Cassidy, this is a book of the month book. I never got this one. And I saw it and I was like, oh, this will look cute in my book of the month collection. And that's the only reason why I grabbed it. Uh, Becky Masterman, Rage Against the Dying. It's a thriller. And Jillian Flynn said, wow, an absolute pleasure. Chilling, smart. And what a voice she has. So I was like, I mean, if Jillian Flynn liked it, I'll probably like it too. I ended up finding the Air Book four of the selection series i kept looking and hoping i would find the other ones but they were in there and i was like sad and heartbroken but i mean at least i have book four right <laughs> and then i found the long song by andrea levy um so this is based it's it seems like it's a book based on slavery um in the sugar plantation in jamaica so yeah all right i still have three more hardcovers mary higgins clark before i say goodbye paulo coelho's the devil and miss prim um he is the author who wrote the alchemist so daniel silva's the black widow I want to read some of his books. I just, I was just drawn to the cover. I got the hardcover version of Kevin Slaughter's Beyond Reach. Now for the soft covers. I Still Dream About You by F F F Fanny Flagg. The Stopped Heart by Julie Meyerson. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Um, I think Bookables, she loves Morgan Matson, so I grabbed it. The Prince of Shadows, it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling by Rachel Kane, and I love Romeo and Juliet, so. The Four Swans by Winston Graham. Um, this is a historical fiction, I'm guessing. I really hope it doesn't have romance. <laughs> Sandra Brown's Friction. Jane Green's Tempting Fates. Um, I just like the cover, honestly. And because it said it was a BJ's Book Club Spotlight. This is another cover by 
Undetected by D. Henderson, and it's the author from Full Disclosure. So I was like, mm, I need some some books about you know naval and army stuff. Snow Falling on Cedars, a novel by David Gutterson. I've been wanting to read this book. I think I've seen the movie years ago, but I don't really remember it. And might as well, right? And the last one, The Carrie Diaries by Candace Bushnell. I attempted to read one book by her, her by her, and it was it was so horrible. But I love Carrie. I love Sex in the City, and I'm hoping you know this will be a good read, an enjoyable read. It doesn't look that long. It's like 389 pages. So yeah, that was exhausting to look through those Gaylords and try to find these gems. So that's it. Hope you like and subscribe. Bye.